Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're looking at in this video is a really great addition to the Xbox operating system. Of course, this is the Streaming Advisor, so it is in reference to streaming and not video games. What we are going to talk about is the fact that until now, there was really no way to just universally look for things that are built in to the streaming on Xbox. There are actually a great deal of top-of-the-line apps for Xbox as far as your streaming. You'll see you've got Sling TV, Fubo, Netflix, Hulu, all the big guns. It doesn't have everything out there. It's not meant to be like a Roku, but... As far as mainline, very popular apps, especially with its audience, you know, the, the gaming community, it's a really good option, especially if you don't want to go out and buy anything else. But the problem with this has always been if you wanted to get content and you were looking for something, the only way to really do it was to go into one app and into another app and into another app looking. So... If a movie was playing on Crackle, but not on Netflix, you wouldn't be able to find it unless you looked specifically in Crackle. But there is a new app for Xbox that's going to change the way you approach this completely. That app shouldn't be an unfamiliar name to you. It's called Just Watch. Just Watch is something that has been available via its website for a long time. And it's been bit by bit dropping apps onto other platforms. And what it does is it pulls together all of these different services into one meta search. You see that it's available in the Microsoft Channel Store. So it's not something that you have to do anything hinky with to get a hold of it. You'll see as we launch that you get a good solid TV operating system look. You've got your menu over on the left side, and then it breaks down into little small categories, little mini categories. This isn't as extensive as what you see in Netflix, but the thing is, is everything you see there listed, those are things that are available on multiple services. It isn't just, you see, you know, Fubo, HBO Max, Fubo, HBO Max, Netflix, Prime Video. You see that everything on here is available on some sort of service. And the things that are not show no service listed. Unfortunately, they haven't weeded it out so that you don't bring up choices that don't exist on it. But it will tell you not available on your TV if you find it. But if you look to the right, you'll see the little logo for the service that it is available on. If you see that service, that means that you're going to be able to use it with your Xbox One or further along. This is an Xbox One. That's why I specifically mentioned it. You see in the settings, you can set up the possible channels that you are going to be pulling from. We've got a lot of things checked off already. But you will see some things listed here that are not really even available on the Xbox One. For instance, these Amazon channels. You see the little Prime channels down at the bottom? But what we will be doing is adding a couple of things. And then we're going to jump into the search and sort of give you an idea of how it works. I do wish that you couldn't find channels that aren't even available. But this is their first draft of this app. I think it'll probably improve. But what's undeniable is the way that it searches. So, as usual, I'm just going to look for Batman. Nowadays, most Batman stuff is all in the same place, which is HBO Max. But you never know. So we're going to do a search, and down there are the search results for Batman. And again, as you bounce through, you'll see, you know, this is available on Fubo TV, while the Batman movie of 19, in the 1980s is not. 
this is the original series and again it's not available on the TV and it lets you know that that's unfortunate but on the other hand the Batman 1966 movie is available and it's available on demand with Fubo TV we happen to have Fubo TV thank you Fubo TV but this is a really really great innovation because it makes an Xbox much more like a more mainline streaming device like a Roku or a Fire TV or anything along those lines. You have options as to you know following shows. You can cycle through the entire menu of a season. So you don't even have to jump into HBO Now, for instance, to catch the Batman the Animated Series shows. You can see every episode, even the descriptions. And it's going to be along those lines for all selections that are covered within this app. This is a really helpful, really great new addition that helps an Xbox be much more of a mainstream streaming device on top of being, of course, a really, really great video game system. It allows people who already have one that don't want to get another device to keep everything close Keep everything simple. And truthfully, if you want to get a controller that you know, feels more like a TV controller, Xbox sells them. So you can get a TV, like a media center controller that you, know, you can kick back, pop up the recliner, and flip through your choices you know, like a civilized person. But that's it. That is you know, what it's up to right now. Another cool note is that when you jump in, if you find something that you want to watch on a channel that you don't have installed, it will allow you to install it. That is, if it's available as an app on the system. So we can jump in and install Stars in order to find our content that we wanted to watch. It'll tell you when it's ready to go, and then you hit the little Xbox button, and boom, it opens up. And there we are. Now, of course, if you haven't signed into an app, it's going to ask you to do so. So that's, you know, a whole nother set of things to worry about. But if you're someone who's familiar with this kind of thing, I'm sure it's not going to be any trouble for you. And that's it. That's the full effect of Just Watch on the Xbox. I think this is going to be very popular uh, and anybody who's getting an Xbox that wants to be able to find out what's streamable on the site, go ahead and get this app. It's free. It's right there. And you see, it's pretty easy to use. I would love to have a way to do more things on the app, like search individual apps without having to find content on them. It would be nice if they had a menu more like the website where you can look at HBO and this, that, and the other. Maybe a way to not list things that aren't even available on the Xbox, that would be helpful. But this is a good start. And considering the amount of popular apps that are part of the build, I think that you're going to find this really helpful. Now, if you found this video helpful, I hope you will subscribe to the Streaming Advisor, share this video with your friends, and as always, I'm Ryan Downey the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.